is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Louisiana Outdoorsman. We are back at it again today and we are back at it again going to Delcom. Because what do you do when you hear good reports about Delcom? You go to Delcom. So that's what we're doing. I got me and my wife. We are headed out right now. It's about 5.30 in the afternoon. Uh, and hopefully we, do the, we produce the same results that we did last weekend. Um, you guys haven't seen that video, I don't believe you, or you will have seen it by the time you see this video, but um, at the time that I'm recording this, you haven't seen the video yet from whenever me and my buddy Dustin went. Um, but hopefully we can get on some bigger catfish this time, and uh, maybe still catch a few black drum uh, here and there, but like I said, mostly we're targeting some nice size channel cats, blue cats tonight. Um, we'll probably fish as long as they probably bite, so we'll see what, what happens. Um, hopefully we get an outgoing tide and, and we get some fish on the line. So, like I said, we'll be on the water here in about 10, 15 minutes, so you guys stay tuned. Oh, I should have set the hook. He stole me. Oh, nope. Ah. Got him, coach. Got him, coach. Got him, coach. We're keeping it? Yeah, we're keeping it. We're not playing around no more. We're going pro. Tired of people saying I don't keep fish no more. Who? I don't know. I keep fish. I really don't want to edit as much though. And look all the mud they got. Look at the crawfish sacks across. <laughs> there. Got him? That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Put him in the, put him in the boat. My boy wrapped all along your line. Put him in the chest. Natasha's going pro 2020. Another one? Another good one. Ooh, doggy. That thing put a hurting on that ugly stick. That thing putting a hurting on the ugly stick. Putting a hurting on the ugly stick. I got a bite. Oh. God, dog it. That's a healthy three pound. That boy is fat from shrimp. Good night. <laughs> he was on a roll for a minute. What happened? Oh boy. <laughs> boy. Same size as the last one. Nope. I'm keeping that one. We on the pound and a half us. Open ice chest for me real quick. Put them in Lechesa culture. Oh, okay, now I just started recording. That's a good one. That's a hammer. <laughs> That's a hammer. <laughs> hey, hammer. 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 That might be a black drum. I got a bite at the same time. I don't know what to do. Don't try to harsh them in. It'd be all right. That might be a black drum. That might be a black drum. You feel head shakes or just solid pull to the bottom? Solid pull. That's a drum. 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 <laughs> well, at least you got your first, hey, no, it's not your first, but it's been your first black drum in a minute though. Eight years? Yeah. Try to make sure my pole don't go in at the same time. <laughs> what you said about them not being here because of mullet? Don't try to harsh them in. You ain't gonna get him in. He gonna come in when he want. Now I'm 
I mean, put pressure on them, but don't just let them keep sinking to the bottom because he'll keep doing that. If that's a catfish, my God. I hope it is a catfish. Man, that may be a catfish, man. I ain't never seen a black drum run like that before. That's a big black drum. Oh no, you got my line. My God. <laughs> Bruh. Hold on. They got a mess right here. Yep. That's what I thought. All right, cool. Now my line's wrapped around them. How do I pick it up? Huh? You wanna pick them up? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Put your hand in one hand in the gill and one hand on his tail. You gotta go all the way to this end of the gill. Now his gill's gonna tighten up on you. It's gonna clamp down. Oh, you do it. Huh? You do it. And what you wanna pick him up for? Pick him up and do something with him because he's going to die if you leave him right now. You do it. He gone. Gar. <laughs> I just hit a gar with my fishing pole. That's a good one. That's a no, that's a catfish. Hammer. Just don't be jealous and call my catfish a drum. <laughs> she goes, that's a drum. I was like, don't be jealous and call my catfish a drum. Open the chest. Let me put my tree pound in the chest. Ice chest looking nice, boy. Look at that. Ice chest looking nice. Ooh. Hammer. Hammer. <laughs> Hammer. Get your, give us a slide. All right, now take your line and take him out of the net. No, the other line, the main, the big line, the leader. Pull him up. He is oh my God, I'm stuck. <laughs> they need to. Can you please stop cursing, man? I appreciate it. Okay. Just put them over the ice guys it is the next day as you can tell it is no longer nighttime uh, I was extremely tired when we got back last night so I didn't have time to film the outro after unloading everything out of the boat and everything like that but overall it's a good trip still not the size catfish that I'm looking for um, normally when we get on them and the shrimp plants on there every single catfish is two to three pounds and on up as well um, but they're still small we still kept I think probably 20, 25 catfish. There's a lot of catfish that we caught that were smaller that you guys didn't see on camera. So just keep it at that. My buddy Dustin was in the boat next to me. Um, they caught about the same amount of catfish as well. They got there a little bit later than us. Uh, I ended up actually giving them all my catfish at the end of the night. So they definitely got some work to do to this morning to clean.
and all them catfish. Like I said, overall it was fun. Uh, this afternoon, I believe me and my buddy Dustin are going out. Uh, it's been a while, but we're going out to the mouth of Delcom to see if we can't get on some redfish or maybe some big croaker or some decent sized black drum uh, that we can actually keep and eat. But that is a this afternoon trip. I will catch you guys next time and stay tuned for another episode of Louisiana Outdoorsman.